Ng, uh, one of the stars at ng Lyceum si Inok Valdez. Good to have you with us here, Martin Aviera, alongside NCAA champion, mythical fight member, long time uh, San Pedro Red Lion, JV Mogon. And of course, our courtside reporters are also here reporting for Arellano. We got Glycel Galvo. And for LPU, we have Mickey Santos, the Pirates and the Chiefs squaring off in our first offering. On a Sunday, it was an NCAA season 99, the final week of eliminations. And this should be good, mga kapuso. Again, only the top two spots are pretty much decided already going into the final four. Marami pa tayong uh, changes na makikita in the final days of the elimination round. A miss to start off the game for LPU. Now, James. Interesting uh, trivia lang dito. Uh. LPU is gunning for their first twice to beat advantage since season 94 of the NCAA. They finished 15 and 3, number 2 in the team standings. Right behind JV San Beda that time. And then LPU also lost in the finals that year as we see Sean O'Malley open the scoring right there. They went to the finals against San Beda, lost to the Red Lions. And hulaan nyo po kung sino yung finals MVP. Clue! Sino kaya yan? <laughs> Katabi ko ngayon, Mr. JV Mokon. Ayan, maganda. Ayan, mga gusto ko naririnig na, na ano eh, trivia mga fans. <laughs> <laughs> Pero, yun yung last time na nakuha nila twice to be the band. So, this is a great opportunity for them. They have the pieces, they have the, you know, the system is already there. So they, are just, they just need to grab this opportunity right here. That's right. Because in season 95, as we look at JL Kapulong here, shortstop turnaround on O'Malley will not work. Season 95, LPU finished number two, but we had a step ladder that year. So they didn't really enjoy. They enjoyed advancing to, the, to round two of the step ladder, pero when they squared up against Letran, they did have a twice to beat advantage. Okay. Oh, yun talaga yung ano eh. I think that's a fairly new new rule here to NCAA to the step ladder yeah. natin. Drop off inside Yuan Kamai who got the start for the Chiefs. Kapulong getting fouled in the process. Let's go to Arellano's side first. Yato. Nakausap ni Glycel Galpo si Coach Chico Manabat. Go ahead. Glycel. Martin, according to Coach Chico, isa lang raw ang baon nitong Arellano Chiefs laban sa LPU Pirates ngayong araw. At ito ang heart o ang kanilang hustle, energy, adrenaline, trust, at reason. At kahit paraw nasa bottom sa ng standing, ang pinakamahalaga raw sa kanila ngayong araw ay yung panghuli o ang kanilang tiwala sa isa't isa. Coach Chico also emphasized on the importance of reason. Ang patuloy raw niyang paalala sa kupunan ay ang alalahanin nila kung bakit sila nandito, kung bakit sila patuloy na naglalaro. At lumalaban. Tila isang roller coaster daw ang season na ito para kay coach dahil bagamat maraming ups and downs ang lesson raw ang bibitbitin nila sa susunod na season. Despite their standing in the roster, coach Chico remains optimistic saying na kahit nasa bottom ka, alam mong pwede pa yung tumaas ng tumaas. Abangan natin kung magwawagi nga ba ang puso ng Chiefs kayong araw. Martin and JV. Thank you, Glycel. Well, for Arellano, yung 2-14 na record nila not really a, a good indicator of the kind of season that they had in yeah. season 99 because they've had a lot of close games here, close calls despite, of course, late preparations going into season 99 as LPU races to a 6-1 to one start here. At saka malayo na yung in-improve ng Arellano from their very first game up until this point. Yeah, yun nga. It's part of rebuilding nila from uh, Coach Chico, syempre. Bago dito si Coach Chico, he wants to, yung ma malagay mo yung system mo yeah. sa bagong team na to. Sabi ko nga earlier, uh, under Coach Cholo Martin, before uh, former head coach nila, they were 4-14. Four, four yeah. So, 2-14 sila nga, it's gonna be, if they lose this game, it's gonna be one of the worst seasons here sa SAA. Of course, again, part of the building blocks ito ng uh, Arellano University. They're already preparing, I'm assuming, for season 100, which yeah. is going to be one of the biggest, if not the biggest. That's the expectation for season 100. Dito sa history ng NCAA, the centennial season of this league. Uh -huh. So, uh, sabi nga niya, uh, roller coaster, a yeah. lot of uh, pababa, maraming pababa. Eh. Oh, so, yeah. expect mo, it's gonna go up. Yun ang roller coaster. Because he's also gonna bring in a ton of recruits. Yes. Uh -huh. From uh, his side. Let's go now to LPU. They're leading it by seven points in the early going here. 
Puntahan natin ngayon at pakinggan ang report ni Mickey Santos. Mickey. This is our now and this is our moment. The Pirates are ready to set sail and attack the Chiefs as they carry with them two pleasant feelings for today's match, Morton and JV. And that is confidence and excitement. Kaya lang, uh, sports psychologist Marcus Manala told me that this confidence and these feelings do not automatically translate to positive actions. Kaya naman pahawali Coach Gilbert Malabanan ay kailangan niyong trabahuin ang laban. At kaya naman binalikan ni Coach Gilbert ang mga pangyayari for the past eight weeks. And he told me that he is excited and happy to see the fruits of the team's sacrifice come to ripe. And now aware of what is at stake for today's game, the LPU Pirates are ready to take the twice to be advantage and the win against the Chiefs. Back to you, I'm Martin and JV. Thank you so much, Mickey. Of course, nothing is given here in the NCAA, especially in the elimination round and in the second round. Everything is gonna be earned, including games against lower half teams, JV. Nakita natin, alam ko naaalala ni Coach Gilbert, yun nangyari sa una nilang pagkikita with Arellano University. So they are not taking this game lightly, especially with higher stakes. Dito sa laban natin. Oo oh, naman. Especially, alam ni Coach Gilbert na kaya silang talunin nitong Arellano. So yung sabi nga na yung feelings, you know, a lot of talks. Pero if not, turn into action, wala rin yan. At ang napapansin ko dito sa LPO, as much as, you know, they've dominated uh, in the season so far, one of their best seasons in their uh, school's career, nagkakaproblema sila o nasasabayan sila ng mga teams na mahilig rin tumakbo. You know, teams like Perpetual, who got one against them a couple of games ago. Arellano, nasasabayan din sila. So, you know, you expect, you almost expect a close game when these teams meet. Oh, parang ano eh, a taste of your own medicine eh. Yeah. So parang yun din yung weakness nila at the same time, yun yung strength nila eh. Ang key dito sa LPU parents, kailangan nilang simula pa ng matiin na. You know, not... Yeah. Uh, just pressing on the gas pedal all throughout. Atobarba, oh, able to find space underneath. We're just feasting inside the uh, LPU Pirates. Pero ang gandang match up ngayon, eh, no? Sean Umali versus JL Capulo. Yeah, big boy against big boy. You and Kama in the crossover. He attacks. Oh, he gets blocked by Umali. And Umali comes up with a rebound. Quick pass ahead. Naagaw ni Jeronimo. Here's Sunga. Yes! So Arellano trying to push back here in the first frame after a blistering start by LPU. They're still ahead, 10-4. to 4. We're back to the coverage. Wow, great matchup right here featured North meets South. Ayan o, it is Danny Maliari, Enoch Valdez, both captains for their respective teams. Of course, Enoch Valdez, one of the best scorers in the league, but Danny Maliari is also an all-around player. Oh, oh this, uh, two, these two players are both graduating, so itong dalawa may, dala, may pinaglalaban yeah. na iba't ibang uh, purpose sa kanila si ito naman si Enoch he wants to win a championship ito naman si si Maliari siyempre to perform and uh, para sa next next na ano niya sa journey niya sa career niya yeah and these past few games this is going to be uh, the final game uh, for uh, Danny Maliari will be a showcase for him going to the next level you know but that's Miss Pires ooh Ato Barba who has been dealing damage here in the first frame Lumabas ang bola. Bola pa rin dito ng LPU. The trigger man is Greg Cunanan. Pass inside. Bang shot. The spin. The hook. No go. Valdez with the board. Enoch gets fouled. Dami offensive rebound na itong LPU. Quick turnaround. 
16 from their last game against San Sebastian. Uh, out rebounds, out rebounds, uh, especially offensively. Offensive rebounds from uh, San Sebastian Stags. And that's how San Sebastian was able to hang around in that game. Oh, kaya di sila nakakashoot on the first shot. Talagang yeah. yung putback nila, second chance points, taas. Ito nga nga LPU Pirates. Well, it wasn't the usual start that we usually see them do. Dahil parang nung first quarter, second quarter, pumipacing yung, yung LPU. Third quarter, to na. Nakita yung uh, sense of urgency nila. Oh, I think yun eh. Uh, matter din talaga yung, you know, nasa taas ka na. You want to play sa playoffs na agad. Kasi dun na dun yung mindset mo eh. Yeah. De La Cruz missing on the hook. And here comes Kyle Montaño who had 22 points. A career high for Montaño against San Sebastian. Omari straight away three. Miss fires. Doesn't get the bounce as well. Here's Sunga. Urge Jeronimo. Dani Mariari with the offhand. Gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up here for Dani. Dani not scared of uh, the shot. Sean Omari floating in the air with that layup. And you always have to take into account if Sean O'Malley is right in front of you on the break. Dahil ang galing din tumahimik sa talon ito ni Sean O'Malley. Very deceiving ito si Sean O'Malley sa physique niya. Pero yung timing niya on his job, not very athletic. Pero yung timing is really on point every time. Usual point guard na ito ni, or starting point guard ni Coach Chico Manabat, Felix Villarente is now in the game. Opted to go with Yuan Kamay today. Ito si Coach Chico at the point guard position. And another veteran joins them on the floor. Another graduating forward in Jita Lampas for Arellano. 11 to 6 is the tally. Over halfway done dito sa ating first frame. Ooh. Oh, this is going to be a turnover for LPU. And a sloppy pass there by, uh, by Kunanan. A great defense also. We pick up na tong uh, defense ng Arellano Chiefs. Itong uh, turnover count is sa mga naging problema ng LPU, especially in that first half against San Sebastian. They were able to limit it or limit the turnover count come third in the fourth quarter. Forward pass. Ato Barba with a finish. This is the usual LPU Pirates grabbing the rebound, pushing the ball, may mga leak outs. Yeah. So you, you need to really be aware sa mga players, sa mga sa system nila na ganyan. Villarente surveys. Yanis for three. This guy has range in and out that time. Oh. Tip in though by De La Cruz. That was a good tap there. Sean oh. really needs to box out. Joshua De La Cruz. Madaming ano, uh, versatile bigs. Itong si Coach Chico Manaba. Oh. Bigs who, can, who are mobile and who has range as well. And this is De La Cruz and si Yanis. Around 6'5", six 6'6", six, six, uh, six six, JV. And then there's versatility following J.L. Capullo. As we take a look at this touchdown finish by Ato Barba. He has done quite a lot here in the first frame. Eight points for Barba. And a tip in right here for Joshua De La Cruz. But it's a lot of weapons. This is weapon. Ito, Nicole Chico, especially the bigs. Because there's a post na si J.L. Yeah. You have De La Cruz, you have Giannis. So, pwede niyang paglaruan eh, going to the next season, kung anong pwedeng strategy niya. Kasi height is rare. Oo, oh, yeah. Di ba, lalong-lalo na dito sa Pilipinas, sa mundo ng basketball, kung may bata kang nakita ng 6'5", 6'6", malamang, na-recruit na yan ng isang team. Oo, oh, totoo yan. Di ba? Kahit di, kahit di, di mo hiling ng basketball, magbabasketball ka. Oh, magbabasketball ka, may piniting ka. <laughs> Oh, sige, projectin ka namin. <laughs> Totoo. Di ba? Talampas. Oh, got in. What a slice hey, by Jade. Talampas. Here's Enoch. Enoch. Oh, Talampas. Working on both ends. Heads up play to prevent the easy basket. Step in three. Off to the left for Maliari. Ito si Jade rin masyado ano eh. Parang uh, nasa shadow minsan. Pero yes, he had his moments. Yeah. Especially mga three-point shots on defensive. Oh, big defensive. moments. Yeah. <laughs> Dito sa NCAA, including a game-winning basket against San Beda. Back down by Sean. Sean Umari up and in. LPU Biggs really pounding it inside. Timeout tayo dito. LPU 
maintaining their lead, 16 to 10. sa ating laban, Arellano contra Mapua in the previous game. And the Chiefs tried, you know, to make a game out of this, but Mapua was just too strong and too good in that game. Oh, si JL Kapulong leading the way yung first half niya. Kita mo naman na lamang, lamang itong uh, Mapua, nakahabol sila. Pero still yung, yung experience, yung maturity itong uh, Cardinals, yung nagnaig during that game. Dito sa laban ng LPU against San Sebastian, ito medyo nagulat ako dito because early on, it was San Sebastian who was actually on top even at halftime. You know, San Sebastian was up by 8 points if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I think uh, malaking factor dun si Enoch Valdez. Eh. Di, yeah. di mo nga siya makita sa leading scores on the first half on the stats, pero he switched it up. Itong LPU team, they grabbed the W. Again. LPU, you felt their sense of urgency in the second half as Jane Talampas continues to be aggressive. This is three straight plays now, JV, that he has attacked the basket. Oh, they're really looking for a uh, Jane with that uh, zoom action down screen there. That's a great screen move by Jane. And this is his capability. Anaanala ko sa kanya eh. Tandem sila nito dati ni... Naabutan mo to, si Archie Concepcion eh, no? Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Parehong bato-bato na Atletic very crafty. Eh. Oh. May shooting at marunong din pumasok sa loob. He takes care of the two free throws. Vince Villegas is in the game now for LPU. Alongside Simon Peñafiel. They go to Peñafiel who will slash. Sends it out. Villegas. Kabam! That's a great ball movement there by the LPU Pirates. Four players na awakan yung bola on that possession. Oh, Talampas is in that zone. Isa pa, Jade. Oh, oh, oh. Not giving up on the play. Just sticking with it. And he gets another trip to the free throw line. But how about this? The spray by Peña Fiel. And then Villega stroking it from downtown. Talampas. Talampas. Really aggressive attack in the basket. Kung sinabi natin kanina, these final two games will be a showcase for Danny Maliari. Ganyan din, yan din ang nasa isip na ito ni Jade Talampas. You know, he will leave it all out on the court. Wala siyang ititira. I think yun yung metallic talaga ni Jade ever since uh, every time playing uh, this basketball game. Yeah. Every game yun yung gusto niya maging not, if not the best player on the court, the most competitive. Is Pinapiel. Again, Jade taking care of his free throws. That's why they were able to trim the lead down to five. Beautiful cut. Guadagna, though, couldn't finish. Here is Villarente. Villarente to the Rampas. The Rampas, the sidestep. Ultra aggressive. Yeah. In this game, is Jade Tanapas. That was a sorry miss. That's a good move there. He didn't finish it to the Jade. But he's been getting the lanes, JV. He's been getting the opportunities to slash and attack. At that time, just didn't drop for him. That was off the break then also. Really pushing the ball itong Arellano too. So, Mabiu needs to uh, adjust itong defensive scheme nila. Lalo na if Jade is inside the court. In the game for Arellano is Team Akumotan. Catch and shoot. Ah, too strong. Way off for Guadagna. Ito na ang Arellano. Villarente and a stop and pop. Wala. Hindi nakaposisyon yung kanyang mga paa. Oh. But a counter steal for Arvianes. Wala. Sloppy pass there. And McCloud. Tyrant from mid-range. Nope. Oongotan. Almost snatching it. But Guadagna comes up with it. 
Vinegas back to Bravo for the lefty lay-in. Parang drill lang eh. Parang practice drill lang sa ginagawa ng LPU here on this game. It's pushing the ball. Yeah. Grabe yung mga forward passes nila eh. And they're very hard to stop. Especially when they get that kind of rhythm. Kasi usually, itong LPU, parang diesel to eh. Uh -huh. they use, they're, they're very prone to slow starts just because they need to get that engine going. But they, if they get it as early as the first play, ah, ang hirap uh, pigilan. It's just gonna continue to pour on. Oh, bravo. Villegas back to JM. Pero obviously, the... This wasn't uh, an event. They go out overnight. Uh -huh. and the forward pass, the like, yeah, fast break. I'm pretty sure they run this during practices. Long hours doing this. That's right. And, you know, this system has been integrated since the time of Coach Topex yeah. Robinson. Uh -oh. Yung mga sinabi kong LPU teams na nagpupunta sa finals at if you finish a top two, sila yun. Godanya. And this is going to stay with Arellano. Effort ni uh, ni McLeod to Danya, even though uh, he's missing shots, some errors, but you know, your effort there, getting those rebounds, deflections. Yeah. 21 to 14, with almost 15 seconds left. RJ, Geronimo, trying to shake off Villegas. Final shot time here for Arellano. Yanis. Yanis giving it to Omotan. Omotan will hop. Omotan, hand time. Oh, 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 oh. Sa ere, si wow. ang Omotan. And getting a basket at the horn as well. Importante yan para dito sa Arellano to stay within striking distance against the LPU.